All right, everybody, we're gonna make salsa verde. Uh, our prime ingredient, tomatillos. Tomatillos are sort of like tomato, green tomato. We've got this papery skin here you need to tear off. That's step number one. Step number two, they got a little sticky residue, so we'll rinse these off, and then we'll cut these up. Before cooking, tomatillos are pretty bitter. You can probably tell by that green color. It's a pretty bitter fruit. So there's two ways of dealing with that. You can boil them or you can roast them. I prefer the roasting just because it gives you that smoky flavor and it just makes everything taste a little bit better to me. But feel free to boil them instead. I'm just cutting these into quarters and then cutting the quarters in half, so cut them into eighths. This is a pound of tomatillas. These don't have to be perfect cuts. These can be lopsided, ugly as you want. But keep them pretty consistent and even so that everything roasts at the same time. So you're not getting some that are burning up before others are even cooked. Now for my version of a roasted salsa verde, we're going to roast all the ingredients all at once. We're just going to put these in a bowl here so I can give them a douse of olive oil to keep them from burning up entirely in the oven. We've got a 500 degree oven preheating right now. So we've got one large jalapeno and I'm just going to remove the seeds really fast and then give it just a quick cut. Just wanna about so big. In that goes. I've got about I got ten, eleven large cloves of garlic, and I'll just give those a crushing with the side of the knife. Real quick like. Just enough to let some of those oils come out. And I'm going to give it half of a white onion. White onion, yellow onion, doesn't matter. Just as long as it's onion. Half of an onion. And again, we're leaving these kind of chunky. going to add some olive oil, maybe about a quarter of a cup, just enough to coat everything well, and some salt. About two teaspoons. Now I am using a smoked salt and a smoked olive oil to help with that roasting flavor, that smoke flavor. But feel free to just use regular, that's fine. Regular olive oil, regular salt. Like I said, always use kosher or sea salt. Don't use anything iodized. The whole point of this roasting process is to get the bitter out of the tom tomatillo. So don't put bitter in with iodized salt. Next thing, we just put this on a sheet pan. And make sure your sheet pan is big enough, just like this, this is perfect. You just want everything to be a single layer. You don't want anything stacked up on top of each other. Then we'll take this to the oven and give it about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, after about 15 minutes, 16 minutes, boom. Little, little bits of char, and it's giving up a lot of liquid, which is fine. Uh, none of that liquid has any bitter flavor to it anymore. So now we just take it to the food processor. The entirety of the pan goes into the blender, like so. And then we add two teaspoons of cumin and two teaspoons of chopped fresh 
oregano. And like always, we cut out the noise of the blender because we care about your ears. Go ahead and get your bowl ready. After about five, six minutes in your puree and your blender, this is ready to go, ready to eat. Salsa verde. Uh, very rich, smoky flavor from the roasting process. Excellent on chips, tacos. Try it. Let us know how you like it. And if you do like it or you learned something today, let us know. Click the buttons, like, share, subscribe. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're there. We're everywhere.